welcome to instrumentation engineering so in this youtube channel we are learning a lot of basic instrumentation concepts and engineering fundamentals that includes process measurement devices and its applications control systems uh latest updates and upgrades which is happening in and around industrial instrumentations globally so if you are an instrumentation student or a budding engineer or even an expertise in the field of instrumentation engineer do subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and i am sure i create a lot of value addition so in this video we are going to learn about different types of walls based on a linear and rotary type so already we have seen different types of control walls and what are different aspects and features of uh, linear and rotary types of walls so in this video we are going to learn about uh, different types of wall bodies with respect to linear and rotary motions with some uh, pictures and uh, explanations so let's get into this video so you could see over here this is a control wall classifications so there are basically two types uh, linear motions and rotary motion as we discussed in the earlier videos and you, you can see over here the linear motion has different types of wall bodies uh, that varies from pinch or clamp type, diaphragm type, globe type and gate type. And again in the globe type of control wall it further gets declassified into angle wall, globe wall and three-way wall. And again the globe wall gets declassified into single seater, double seater and split body. So these are the basic uh, classifications of a uh, control wall that falls into linear motion category and uh, the other part is this rotary motions. So in rotary motions we have three different types of body classifications and that includes eccentric plug, butterfly wall and the ball wall. And uh, there are still more classifications available in rotary motions with respect to uh, uh, eccentric plug but we are, we are not going to discuss that uh, in this video. So first basically these are the main classifications of control wall based on linear motion and rotary motion. This is basically globe control wall. So already in our we, earlier video we have discussed about the internal components of a, a globe type control wall body. And the main applications of this uh, wall body is that it is best suited for throttling fluid surveys. If you want to have a, a, a very small flow range or medium flow range or high flow range or you want to uh, control a flow, pressure, temperature, whatever it is, the globe type wall is the best suited type. And this is widely operated uh, in all process industries and applications. And next is the angle wall. And you can see from the figure is that the flow is from upwards to sideways. So why uh, this angle wall is basically used? This is basically used to le uh, in the applications of let down pressure. For example, you have a, a 100 bar pressure and you have let down to uh, 50 bar or 45 bar then we use angle wall to do the pressure conversion from high pressure to low pressure uh, basically we call it as let down pressure wall for example you have a turbine and the turbine consumes uh, high flow of a stream with uh, 100 bar pressure and if the turbine strips or during a normal uh, low consumption of uh, stream then the 100 bar pressure has to be let down to uh, 50 bar or 45 bar or 30 bar pressure piping. So basically we use the angle, angle wall in those applications. And next is the pinch or clamp wall. So you could see over here that body is of soft material. Hence it can give a best result in on off function mainly for full tight shut off right. And uh, the best thing of this uh, pinch or clamp wall is that it can handle slurries, chemicals and uh, liquids which is having high amounts of suspended solids. And next is a three way wall and you could see from figures that we have a three way and you could see over here there is a single source that is from the right side that is a flow inlet and there are two ports port A and port B. So the three way wall is to shut off any flow in one pipe while opening flow in another pipe so simultaneously the source the fluid or the process fluid which gets into this three-way wall it either gets into port ta and closing the port b and vice versa it can get into port b and the port ta is isolated so this is the main function of a three-way wall right 
and next is the single seated control valve so this is basically the body has a single seat and single plug arrangement basically already we have uh, seen the uh, globe type valve oh, i'm not going to explain over here and the next is the double seated valve body so you can see over here it has two plug and seat arrangement and you could wonder why uh, they use double seated valve the main applications of double seated valve body is that it is being employed in high pressure piping because they reduce the actuator force due to balancing because of the um, arrangement of double seated valve body and the other benefit of this uh, double seated valve is that we can easily change from direct to reverse action so that is very easy uh, in the double seated valve and they ha they can handle high flow capacity so the volume of handling of process fluid or gas is very high and that's where they use the double seated valve body and next is the split type valve body basically split type of valve body is not a uh, widely used uh, be, they are being used in gas industries basically because they cut off devices suitable for use both on natural gas distribution networks and for liquid service when high performance on tightness and low pressure drop or record so you could see over here uh, this type of wall body has tight shut off at the same time they offer very low pressure drop so it finds its applications over there and is not widely used in the process industry apart from the gas industries right and next is the uh, rotor type of wall body we are discussing about the eccentric plug wall and this is a diagram or a picture of an eccentric plug wall you can see over here the wall motion is clockwise uh, it's a rotary this is basically used for on off applications and uh, the it offers only uh, moderate throttling services the best application of this valve is in uh, abrasive fluids uh, sewage sludge and the chemical slurry piping and next is the butterfly valve so the main application of this valve is that for minimum opening it offers maximum flow so within 20 30 percentage of wall opening nearly 90 percent of flow would be established so basically this uh, butterfly wall is basically used in the cooling water line and uh, process air process gas and they are also widely used in fire protection pipings because of its uh, main advantage of a uh, minimum opening and maximum flow and uh, they also can be used in high pressure high temperature water and steam services uh, during any fail safe condition if there is any fail safe condition in the process uh, plant the butterfly wall can open and it can immediately uh, do the uh, cooling services or any venting services so this is the basic applications of butterfly wall and next is the wall wall and this wall wall is widely used everywhere in the process industry basically it also do the same function as on off and the mode throttling and it can also be used for in chemical slurries abrasive fluids and other suspended of uh, uh, process fluids in this video we have seen uh, different types of wall classifications based on linear and rotary motions with some uh, uh, pictures and applications so if this video was very useful to you just hit the like button and share to instrument community and if you want to watch such instrumentation videos, do subscribe to our channel, Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Thank you.